Red Tails, the new George Lucas film. Okay, everybody's been pissed off about the fact that George Lucas is releasing Star Wars Phantom Menace. Actually, he's going to be re releasing all of his Star Wars films in 3D. He's re releasing them one year at a time. Next year, it's going to be the Attack of the Clones. So this year, it's just Phantom Menace. And yes, I hate that as well. I think the, the 3D thing is obviously a profit grab. And I didn't really like the prequels that much either, except for episode three, because I like because that was the darkest of the three. Really, uh, I didn't really care. I didn't like episode one, and I didn't like episode two. Episode two was kind of stale for me, even though the, the Jedi fights in it were pretty cool. But this movie, Red Tails, is awesome. It really feels like George Lucas has gotten back his storytelling ability. Uh, this movie's directed by Anthony Hemingway. So George Lucas is actually the executive producer of this movie. So that's probably another reason why this movie's so good. He wasn't actually directing it. He actually met, uh, distributed the leadership a little bit better, where in the prequels he was had the director, he was the executive producer and everything. And yeah, also Crystal Skull, that movie would suck too. So yeah, but this movie was awesome, uh, very Top Gunness like, with uh, Lightning being one of the main characters. Uh, what was being played by? This is what I don't understand about this the movie database. Lists Lightning in the only way you can get Lightning's name is if you hit the full cast and full cast and crew. And he's one of the main characters in the movie, uh, played by David. Aolo, I think is his name. Yeah, he was a great actor. Yeah, Terrence Howard, who plays Colonel J, Colonel A.J. Bullard. Uh, Nate Parker, playing Mar Captain Marty Easy Julian, the command, I guess you could say the, the Air Force commander of the um, Tuskegee Airmen. Uh, Tristan Wilds plays Ray Gannon, Ray Jr. Gannon, or Ray Gun, as he wants to be called. Elijah Kelly plays Samuel Joker, who's mostly just a side character, and he's got higher billing than the Lightning? No, that doesn't make sense. Uh, Delkin Winky Hall, played by Leslie Odin, Odin Jr. Cuba Jr. Jr. is in the movie as... Yeah, see the billing on this movie, with the cast they listed badly. Major Emmanuel Stance. Uh, he was both him and Terrence Howard did very good in this movie as well. I really think this movie is one of the best of the year. And Daniel Rua is Lightning's love interest. Uh, her character's name is Sophia. This movie is amazing. It, it was such a good film. That is great news, I guess, for when you, when you hear from George Lucas that he came out with such a great movie after coming out with four bad films lately. The bad news is, if this movie proves to be as much a hit as he hopes, and it looks like it's going to be a great hit, he's going to prequel it. He's going to sequel it. Oh, God, what the hell? You just created a great film, George. Now you want to get shit all over it by making a prequel and a sequel? Oh, God. That, that, that is so stupid that he wants to do that. But, yeah, he's going to do it. And I'm sure, I don't know if the sequel or the prequel is going to be any good. We'll have to find out. But, oh, man. Anyway, the movie is awesome. This, as I said before, very Top Gun-ish. Lightning is very much like Tom Cruise's character Maverick or very much like uh, Will Smith's character from uh, the Independence Day movie. Very much like that character. Easy, Captain Easy, is uh, very much a cap. A guy that likes to keep things grounded as far as a, as a very good leader, although he has one major flaw, which I don't want to give away. You have to see the movie to find out what the flaw is. But Lightning continues to bring up that flaw, although his ma you know, he, he's not perfect either. His major flaw is that he's too gung-ho and it proves to be a big, a key, big Achilles heel for him in the movie. I don't want to give away what I mean by that, but you'll have to see the movie to find out. Uh, it is an amazing film. Definitely going to end up on one of my best movies for 2012 uh, at the end of the year. I love this movie. Uh, it's a shame that uh, George Lucas will take a shit all over it when he when he creates the sequel and a prequel. And hopefully it won't be that 
those movies won't be as bad as I'm thinking that they might be. <laughs> well, I'll have to see. Yep, so Red Tails, awesome film. 10 out of 10.